Hello, my name is Matt, and I get to serve at Hope City as the worship pastor. And today we're gonna to be looking at the prayer of wisdom. You know, we have so many decisions every day that we need to make. We have way more access to information than any other time in human history, and we frequently face decision fatigue. For example, it's estimated that the average adult makes about 35,000 remotely conscious decisions each day. In 2022, the average person received 6,852 Slack messages, had an average of 18 tabs open at a time, and received 226 messages daily. Someone once said, my mind is like my web browser. 19 tabs are open, three are frozen, and I have no idea where the music's coming from. Add this along with massive life-altering decisions like deciding who to marry, raising kids, decisions with money and career, and when you throw the 250 items featured on Cheesecake Factory's menu, it can all be very scary. Albert Camus said that life is the sum of all of your choices. And the great news today about this is that as believers, we have help from heaven. In Jeremiah 29, it says that God knows the plans that he has for us. Jesus mentions in John 16, 7, that it is our, to our advantage that he go away, because if I do not go away, the helper, the comforter, the advocate, the intercessor, the counselor, strengthener, standby will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him, the Holy Spirit, to you to be in close fellowship with you. I love that. So this is where the prayer of wisdom comes in. In James 1, 5, it says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and listen to this, it will be given to him. We have to remember that God has a plan for our life and is willing to give us wisdom when we ask. Pastor Craig Rochelle said, it's not a sign of weakness to ask for help, it's a sign of wisdom. So with everything going on and all the noise, all the distractions around us, it's crucial that we slow down, learn to simplify so we can hear God's voice. Lao Cha famously said and phrased, in the pursuit of knowledge, every day something is gained, but in the pursuit of wisdom, every day something is dropped. Henry Thoreau wrote that soul grows by subtraction, not addition. It seems then that wisdom is characterized by knowing less. In 1 Kings 19 uh, verses 11 through 12, it says, and he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains, and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the winds, and after the wind an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake, and after the earthquake a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after this fire a still small voice. This is exactly why we take time during our 21 days of prayer and fasting to slow down, to quiet the input, quiet the voices, it's a time for subtraction, for focus, and for stillness. It's a time to close all the tabs. I'm so glad that we have a good Father that has an awesome plan for our life, who has sent the Holy Spirit to help us and will give us wisdom if we ask. So let me go ahead and pray for you. Father, I thank you for my friends today. Lord, I ask that you would give us wisdom and insight. Lord, we seek knowledge, we seek all these good things, but Father, we need wisdom above all things. Lord, we will be obedient to close the tabs, to be still, to be quiet, to make time for you to speak. And Lord, we ask that you would just speak to us in this season mightily. May it be clear, may lives be changed for the better because of it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.